before I get into the video too deep, I just wanted to take you guys. Um, so, uh, my wife and I finally took a trip to Ohio, to Canton, Ohio, to visit the uh, Football Hall of Fame, something that I, I've wanted to do for the longest time. And I'm just going to say it was a fantastic little trip. But before we even got there, so we, we decided to do it um, during a week where the Eagles were actually playing the Browns. So I was like, you know, since we're going to be up there anyway, the stadium, the Browns stadium is about an hour away, 40 minutes, an hour and away. We ended up just grabbing some preseason tickets, catching the game. We got some really good seats for a really good price. Um, took in the city for a little while, enjoy some of the nightlife and just, you know, just really enjoyed ourselves. Um, and then in the morning we got up and we went and saw the Hall of Fame. So it was just, the trip itself was fantastic. I'm gonna say right now, Cleveland, the city is so much better than I thought it was. Honestly guys, I started off trying to make this video a how-to, like a DIY kind of video. It, it turned into something that um, ended up just being uh, a kind of a headache. So <laughs> instead of going through the whole process of showing you guys how to do this, um, I, I'll, I'll add in some clips of the steps that I took, including removing the patches, both the Eagle Head logo patch and the Nike swoosh patch. Um, removing them all together from the jersey, cleaning off the jersey, um, removing any of the adhesives or anything like that, um, moving them up and restitching them to the jersey, and then going about cutting off the bottom of the sleeve and moving up the black ribbing that was on the bottom and sewing that back in, and then adding in the elastic from there. So like I said, this, this ended up being kind of a a laborious type of project and that's why I didn't go through and show you guys exactly how to do it because it just it was a lot of trial and error um, I probably sewed um, the bottom of the sleeve and re-sewed it probably about five or six times so it was it was a lot of uh, a lot of messing up on my part and um, one of the things I, I'm I'll be honest with you guys I don't measure a lot so I just kind of go by my eye and uh, my eye wasn't too good in this case. I probably could have saved myself a headache by just going ahead and measuring. But I think the results came out really well. Um, I, I really love, I like the look of it a lot. It especially looks really good when I'm wearing like a black shirt underneath it. When I did the review, of the jersey before I was telling you guys that the length of the sleeves just seemed kind of odd to me. It was, it was one of the sticking points. I love the fly wire. I, I generally like the template itself. I just couldn't, I did not like how long the sleeves were and I felt like when Nike introduced the um, Vapor Untouchable template that most of the teams are going with now, I thought the retail authentic version that they were starting to sell, like the, the Carson Wentz black jersey that I have. I thought they got it right with the sleeves. Um, I thought Nike did a really good job of trying to make something um, in this retail authentic that kind of really looked like what the players are wearing on the field. The, the sleeves, of course, were shorter and they actually put an elastic around the bottoms of the sleeve. It, it, and it, uh, it, it gave it a really good look. So I did the same thing with my Fletcher Cox jersey. It took probably about maybe half an inch, almost an inch off of the bottom. Um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, um, I, you know, reading your comments, I, I thoroughly appreciate you guys and I, I really enjoy talking back and forth with you guys so uh, you know keep the keep the questions coming what is your team um, what do you appreciate about man cave stuff is there anything that you'd like to see in the future let me know and I'll see you next time on man cave stuff